Xpeng Motors is potentially on track to become China's number one electric vehicle automaker. At its Tech Day 2023, the young startup from Guangzhou, China has just revealed some innovative technologies as well as a brand new product lineup that is potentially going to set it apart in the highly saturated market of EVs and internal combustion vehicles in China. When it comes to publicly listed companies here in the US, Xpeng is certainly up there on the list of some of the more popular retail EV stocks, right alongside the likes of NIO and Li Auto. This means the Western media has given Xpeng quite a lot of attention, even though a lot of competition has come in the EV space by the likes of BYD, Zeker, and other brands in mainland China. And yet, folks, although sales for 2022 for the company were very dismal and quite poor in the macroeconomic recession that the country faced, as well as heightened competition, Xpeng is starting to put itself back on track to becoming potentially the real Tesla of the Chinese market. As cliche as that sounds, folks, there's real merit for why this might be happening for Xpeng. Motors. Not only is China the biggest auto market on planet Earth, but in many ways, China is a world of its own. There's so many segments, customers, and technologies that are only sold in China, which means companies that take advantage of the extremely sticky customer base within the country can gain a lot of revenue and market share because of the insane nature the Chinese government and its cyclical nature operates. Chinese consumers have high savings and low debt compared to what we have here in the Western states. This means Chinese consumers are much more inclined towards buying products that provide a good value, particularly with high margin, like on the software side of things. And this right here, folks, is how Xpeng is starting to set itself apart with its launch of a new software autonomous driving features, a flying car platform, as well as new products in various different segments. For those unfamiliar, Xpeng came on the blog as an EV startup in 2015, found by a billionaire CEO who made a lot of success selling software in his past career. Since then, Xpeng has launched a few new models every couple of years, consistently making sure they're targeting a new audience with each vehicle that they launch, essentially testing out the waters with something like the crossover market with the G3i, the high performance sedan market with something like the P7, and then the mid-size SUV market with something like the Xpeng G9. And although a few of those vehicles turned out to be flops because of marketing missteps from Xpeng Motors as well as a poorly launched production ramp, there is still more than just one leg for Xpeng Motors to apparently stand on. And that just so happens to be because of Xpeng's latest launch of the X9, which is their very first multi-purpose vehicle. For those in the West, the X9 is a minivan like no other. In China and in many Asian communities, MPVs are much more popular than minivans, especially where in Europe minivans are not even sold on a large scale. MPVs are supposed to be a vehicle that is much more luxurious than your Toyota Siennas or your Honda Odysseys like here in North America, but providing creature comforts and performance that matches equivalent SUVs. And even during times of recession, you can expect the MPV market in China to perform very well because of its sticky demand as well as political demand from governments and state authorities that like to buy these vehicles to transport high-end officials. Not to mention the fact that right now the MPV market is mostly dominated by a significant amount of fully internal combustion vehicles with a severe lack of battery electric ones with only a few being on the market like this one from BYD. And although direct competitors like Li Auto are expected to launch their own MPVs very soon, 
Not only are they less appealing than a traditional MPV, but Lee Auto doesn't necessarily have the brand image or the experience in making fully zero emissions vehicles just yet, given the fact that they mostly make plug-in hybrids. And I don't know about you, but the X9 certainly does look the part when it comes to some of the models that are expected to launch in mainland China over the next 12 months, from companies like Hangzhou, Zeker, BYD, Li Auto, a lot of these vehicles look a lot more generic with ghastly grills as well as basic conversions from internal combustion engine platforms, which as we all know don't tend to give out the best efficiency. And guess what? Not only does Xpeng now have the backing of Volkswagen with a 5% stake in the company to launch new products in China as well as in Europe, but Xpeng is also one of a few handful of companies in this space that is testing its own in-house software stack for autonomous driving. Outside of North America, actually, it's pretty rare to see autonomous driving tested on real roads. But Xpeng has successfully done so with basically all of its latest models that are all equipped with the right equipment, the right sensors, and the data gathering modules to perform such driving. And although, yes, right now, this kind of autonomous driving seems still really, really far away, if you want to think from a long-term perspective and really understand over the next few decades who are going to be the main players and technologies to invest in when it comes to the automotive industry, self-driving certainly is the one thing that comes to mind. That's self-driving and flying cars which just so happens to be the third sector, Xpeng has a quite interesting advantage and lead in in the Chinese EV race. The Xpeng Aerohot subsidiary is on track to release one of the world's very first mass produced and verified flying vehicles that not only can operate like a drone, but also work just like an electric vehicle on the road. Yes, we've seen plenty of concepts, prototypes, and demonstrations over the past few decades, but it's very rare to see an actual automobile company pursue the same dream. If there's any new markets that stand out over the next few decades for the next generation of mobility, flying cars, and self-driving technology certainly is the first thing that comes to mind. All these come together to give Xpeng a seriously interesting case in the EV automotive industry, which is exactly why I'm going to be following this company very closely over the next few years as it makes its progress to grow deliveries and market share in the EV race, but also provide a new perspective to the mobility transition. Say what you want about China, but clearly the country knows how to build stuff at scale as well as innovate on a software and technology level. Pairing that with the expertise and the investment philosophies of the West, especially with its partnership like Volkswagen, can certainly create a good combination for potential automotive dominance over the next few decades, but obviously time will tell that story. As usual folks, let me know your thoughts on Xpeng Motors down in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.